It's Mark from the United States. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Mark from the States, how are we doing today? I am doing fantastic, and I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate each and every one of you. I do. Uh, today, um, I had a, one of our channels that we always watch, Strides and Rides. Josh over there, he is uh, just awesome. So thank you, Josh. He reached out and said, hey, I got this video. I think you would like, um, it's Althorpe estate. And I'm like, I, I don't, and he's all princess Diana. I'm like, yes, I do know of her. And he goes, that's, uh, where she is, um, laid to rest. And, uh, they did a visit of Althorpe estate and, uh, and they have a video out of, uh, kind of allowing us to walk along with him. You know, we're doing like a, I do uh, basically a couple, there's a couple channels, this one and uh, living walks that we, that I like to do because uh, one, they're just great people who do them and, and we need to go support them and the links to this video and to strides and rides channel will be down below. So just please click on those, go over there, support their channel. It's really important, right? Really important. But anyway, he said, uh, yeah, you find it interesting um i don't i haven't really done really a whole lot of videos about estates per se uh so this is going to be something new for me uh it's kind of a long one so uh sit back get a cuppa and and enjoy um so we're going to go ahead and just jump out to start here okay um northampton united kingdom welcome to north so I'll, i want to know where northampton is um, cause I'm trying to learn, <laughs> trying to learn where things are. Uh, I, the, all the names sound familiar, but I, it's like, I wouldn't know where to really point them out on a map. So it is North right here in the middle, uh, North of London between Birmingham, Cambridge. Okay. Uh, I just love looking at the maps and seeing the stuff. Um, so, okay. That's an idea of where it's at. So it's not too far. Um, kind of like right in the middle of the country. Um, I don't know a whole lot about uh, Princess Diana other than <laughs> um, I know she was a uh, just a tremendous person. Helped a lot of the needy and that sort of thing. So, um, I, I mean, she she's, she was amazing woman for sure um of course i know how you know uh she passed away and uh my my wife loves her um and i think a lot of americans really did love her as well i remember when that happened it was a lot of people took it hard over here um i'm sh you know obviously they took it hard where you live as well but uh you know it was just like who is this person really i mean i was a lot younger uh when did, when did she uh die it was like 90 it's like the late 90s or something i was fairly young still early uh, uh gosh actually i was late in my late 20s in the early 90s so i don't I don't really remember remember it too well, but this is going to be interesting. So come with us, sit on this big feet couch. We're going to take a walking tour of uh, Althorpe Estate and uh, see what it has to offer. Let's do it. To oh, and let me tell you, he's going to... Uh, he doesn't talk, but he does have these little explainers, kind of a narration as we go. I'm going to read them out loud so I can understand it myself. So uh, just to give you a little warning there. Today we'll explore the grounds of Diana, Princess of Wales, family home, and her final resting place on the estate. Short sure of what to expect. Okay. Oh, wow. Is that 
her. Well, I'm just gonna wait, find out with the rest of everyone else. So they have a, what is that, a church on the estate? Uh, all right. Looks like an amazing day. So that's the, the front gate. In 1998, the current Earl of Ulthor, excuse me, Diana's brother, Charles, planted an avenue of 36 oak trees to signify, couldn't read it fast enough, signify each year, however, she was only 36. Wow, it has long been an Ulthor tradition to mark the occasion of planting trees throughout the estate with the planting stone to indicate who they were planted by and when it took place. Charles Ninth Earl Spencer. Wow. So her brother, 36 years old. My gosh. So young. I had no idea she was so young. Commemorate the life of his sister. That's wonderful. Since 1508, 19 generations of Spencers have resided here, including Diana before she became Princess of Wales. That's incredible. 1508. How did Charles and Diana meet? You'll have to let me know. Grade one listed stately home and its surrounding gardens are only open to the public for two months of the year. On some days, it has been known to welcome up to 2,500 visitors. Holy smokes. Seventeen thirty stables and also were built to house 100 horses and 40 grooms designed by English architect Roger Morris with the Palladian influence. So these are the stables. And a place you can sit and have something to drink and rest up. It's nice. It's very nice. Okay. Large, large place. <clears throat> Only recently discovered in 2023, an ancient Roman dwelling exists somewhere within the 1300 acre estate. Treasures uncovered include intricate coins, fragments of pottery, and even a cleverly engineered well. Wow. And away we go. Okay. Through the gate, point of no return. We are... that home. Holy moly. It's, I mean, it's been around since the 1500s. That's crazy. Uh -huh. Oh, don't mind the cannons. Is that the entrance to the stables?
Looks old. For sure. Oh, I like those windows. Oh, there's probably going to be a lot of plants and flowers and stuff like that and trees. Um, I don't know anything about any of that stuff, so bear with me. This impressive family home has a total of 90 rooms, 88 fireplaces. Notable guests of the past include Winston Churchill and Nelson Mandela. Wow, okay. That is an impressive list of people. Places massive. Hidden underneath the exterior gray tiles lies a red brick Tudor mansion, which can be seen in early paintings of Althorpe House. The 106,000 individual mathematical tiles were added as a facade. Wow. Due to what? I'm sorry. Due to changing the fashions. Okay. What flag would that be? Like the family flag? Unfortunately, photography is not permitted inside the home. That makes sense. Gosh, look at that building's impressive as well. The purpose of the tiles is to give buildings the appearance of being constructed with brick without the expense or structural modifications required for actual brickwork. Really? Yeah, I would never have known. It looks like brick to me. sprawling gardens that surround Althorpe Hammer are maintained to the highest of standards by 50 ground staff. Okay. That's a lot of dudes and dudettes working. So the Spencer's been around a long time, uh, apparently. Um, what is their, what would be the question to ask here? I don't want to say who are they, but I mean, basically, who are they? What was their um, role? Oh my God. Is he gone? I thought he was going to tell me. The Spencer family motto, which goes alongside the crest, is. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it, which simply means God defends. Interesting. Okay. And there it is. Um, through, through history, where, how, what role has the Spencers played? I guess that's, I don't know. I guess I'm in, zero. it's not something that can be answered quickly, but. If you have a real short answer to that, fire away. It's a beautiful day, though. A series of plaques on the garden wall commemorate the gardeners who worked at Althorpe State but lost their lives. Oh, really? Okay, World War One. The sixth Earl of Spencer. Earl Spencer placed the plaques here in their memory. So they were an Earl. Roger Harrison, nineteen eighteen. When 
week apart, two weeks apart there. Hmm. That one's hidden. <laughs> Nineteen seventeen. If you're not enjoying me talking, please go to the original video. Um, link is in the description um, below here. So I encourage you to go and watch that if you don't want to hear me talk. Fumble my way through this. Hidden behind the tennis court is a secluded family pool, only visible from above. There's the tennis court. Oh, here we go. And there it is. It's got a cool looking like pool house there too as well. And I'm still thinking about how old she was. 36. So young. Wasn't the person she was with that... Uh, he was... God, she was only 36. How old was the guy she was with? Um, in the car. What was his name? I want to say like Faid or something. This video may end up ha having uh, more questions and answers for me as I'm uh, walking along here with Josh and uh, uh, experiencing this. I'm, things go through my mind, I'm trying to relive that day, <laughs> following a long tradition for visiting royalty and dignitaries. Nelson Mandela planted this oak tree during his visit in 2002. That's cool. I like the idea of planting trees. Uh, now, did he plant it himself or? He wasn't a young man in 2002. Maybe he did. So in 20 years, it's grown pretty, pretty substantially there. That's a, uh, I just like the idea of planting trees, you know? I mean, I like the idea of it. I don't physically want to do it myself, but because I'm lazy. And I used to work for a landscaper in my younger days and we planted many a tree and uh, it's not easy. A lot of work. It's definitely a young man's game, for sure. But I like the idea. And would love more people to do it, just not me. I mean, if you're working as a ground staff, uh, um, there's probably, there's always something to do, I imagine. And it's probably like, you know, Mondays we do this, Tuesdays we do this, Wednesdays we do this, so on. And you just repeat it every week. Is this a lake? That's cool. 
The round oval is a man-made lake, which is now rest. Oh, she's laid to rest on Lake Central Island, which is marked by a simple monument. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't see that coming. Oh, man. There's a little dock, but you can't get over there. Just, I mean, just as well, I guess. And there is, is that access to Central is not permitted to the general public, but family members who wish to visit the grave site can only reach it by boat, which is on its side right there. It's kind of weird. Oh, wow. That's... Yeah, I like it. I mean, that's, of course. What a... Yeah, really neat. I wonder how many of their family members actually get in the boat and go over there. But yeah, it's a wonderful resting spot for sure. Very uh, picturesque. The estate is also home to a herd of 350 rare black fallow deer that have been roaming since the early 16th century. That would be me right there. Break time. <laughs> this estate looks massive. It's called the Round Oval. Yeah, just looking at that little island right there, you wouldn't even know. If you didn't already know. You can't see anything. It's uh, definitely the peace part, right? A lot of peace. Quiet. Very kind of... I don't want to say sad. The temple at the Round Oval is designed in the Doric style of classical Greek architecture characterized by its simple, robust columns and understated capitals. Its design complements the natural beauty of Althorpe's estate, reflecting a timeless elegance. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, if I was just walking around, I would have thought this is where she was laid to rest. We get things Oh, wow. So this is where you would go to pay your respects since you can't go across the way to the island. And definitely a lot of people have. It's nice. Nothing brings more happiness than trying to help the most vulnerable people in society. Whoever in distress can call on me, I will come running wherever they are. Just in a truly amazing woman and human. Um, there it is, 61 to 97, 36. Dang. Charles Ninth Earl Spencer, 6 September 1997.
nice. Some people suggest that Princess Diana could be buried in the Spencer family vault in Great Brian Brington? Brington? As was her wish, rather than on an island in Health Earth. This theory stems from speculation about the sites. I'm going to have to pause it so I can finish reading. The sites' uh, inaccessibility, ambiguous family statements, and unverified claims by former state workers. All uh, let's see, if, though no solid evidence supports it, at the end of the video, I'll take you to visit the vault in Great Brington, I'm guessing. So some people suggest that it could be at this vault, as was her wish. So she wanted to be buried in the vault. Hmm. Some controversy. Visitors all through today can spot peacocks roaming freely around the grounds. These vibrant birds are often seen in the gardens and near historic buildings, adding a splash of color and elegance to the estate. All right, let's see if we can find a peacock. And there is a couple of them. Haha. <laughs> They have direct TV. <laughs> you see that satellite dish? Hello. Wow. I can't say I've ever. I want to say I've never really seen a peacock up close, like in person. Interesting birds for sure. I'm starting to think if uh, if the rumor is or if it's true, is she didn't really want to be buried on the island. She wanted to be buried in the vault. Wonder may have to do a little research there, or at least look it up, <laughs> which is constituting my research. If you love walking. This is these are the type of places you can go and enjoy. The lake and its surrounding areas provide habitat for a variety of wildlife, including birds, and waterfowl, and its tranquil waters and lush surroundings make it a haven for local fauna. Well, it's definitely very beautiful, very peaceful. Which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, is would be an ideal place to have your final resting place. Um, and also being on an island so nobody's, you know, visitors aren't going to bother you. <laughs> you know, but uh, interesting. Oh, and there's the... the marker I guess I mean my wife would definitely want to come here I, I really truly believe that I know she's a 
she liked uh, Princess Diana and she she's all into um, what is that a canoe it's like it's handmade this canoe was given to Charles the ninth Earl Spencer as a 60th birthday present made the canoe comprised of American black walnut uh, English ash pink ivory from somewhere I didn't finish reading that but it's uh, gorgeous yeah the round oval is truly a lovely final resting place yeah it's peaceful waters elegant surroundings serene and fitting tribute beautiful setting honors her memory yeah I agree I agree Plaques tell you who planted the trees. How many of these will we know? Stan Ogden, head forester. Did that in 88. This is a vastly different video than normal uh, when we're watching, you know, in London or what have you. Um, so, like, like he's mentioned, peaceful. You hear the beer, the beards. <laughs> you hear the birds chirping and singing. Um, just nature. Planted by John Richardson, head forester. 42 years of service. Wow. Lady Jane Spencer in 1976. Wow, look how thick that one was. Couldn't imagine living in a home so large. Just having so many people around at all times. It's a different lifestyle, for sure. By Earl Spencer and I, yeah, Althorpe to celebrate the 500th anniversary. I gotta go back. I'm sorry, I didn't. 500th anniversary of Althorpe House. Wow, cool. The grounds of Althorpe City were once encircled by a moat, which served both as a defensive feature and a decorative element. In the 18th century, the moat was enhanced with Venetian gondolas, adding the elegance and sophistication to the estate. Imported from Venice, these gondolas provide a luxury way luxurious way to navigate the moat oh my gosh could you <laughs> wow it's too bad they don't have those still <laughs> I'm 
Would you like to take a ride around the moat? That would be nice. Thank you. Charles Spencer, the best wishes of those who work on this estate on this occasion, 2024. It's pretty recent, it's a nice looking bench. Nineteen sixty four. Sorry. Did I misread that first one? No, oh, that says twenty twenty four. Okay. It's definitely showing its age. Some of the buildings and Hello, hello. Thank you for reaching out. It's impressive. Beauty behind it, of course. <laughs> With various ghostly legends linked to its history, there are tales of an apparition, an unexplained phenomenon which add an intriguing element to the estate's rich folklore. I can't imagine there's a, a place, you know, an estate in all of England that isn't reported to be haunted. I mean, they're so old. All of them. Of course they're going to be haunted. Recent archaeological discoveries shared through Spencer. Okay, go check that out. Have unveiled remarkable finds, including the remains of an ancient Roman villa and a coin from the reign of Constantine the Great. Wow, depicting Romulus and Remus. Additionally, Earl Spencer's evacuate, uh, excavation efforts have revealed intriguing artifacts such as Re what? As the wreckage of a World War II Wellington bomber? Holy moly. Too bad they don't have that here. I'll have to go to that website. Spencer 1508 1508.com Fifteen. Fifteen oh eight, man. Jeez. The library, oh, so this is the library, it was one of the largest private collections in Europe. 4,300 early printed books, including 58. Uh, I don't know what that word is there. Can't read Caxton. And copies of the Gutenberg Bible, collected by the second Earl Spencer and occupying eight rooms today. The library holds approximately 10,000 books with, uh, I can't read that, it's unfortunate, oh, with its current collection dating from 1892. So that is not the stables, that's the library. It's an impressive building. But, and like I said, it's showing its age. Um, but that's what I, I, I find that to be uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I find it to to my liking. I like to see. I'm glad they didn't, you know, re brick things or, you know, I love seeing the age on it. Grounds also include designated picnic area where you can unwind and enjoy a relaxing outdoor meal, and in the picturesque gardens and tranquil landscape, so you can bring your own food. And have a picnic. That's nice. Man, that'd actually be really cool. And there they are. Picnic area. It's 
that way. <laughs> Oh, cool, it's under trees, and so you're in the shade. That's nice. Yeah, pretty cool area to eat. Have a snack, relax. This concludes the walk at all the rooms today. Stay tuned as I head to Spencer Family Chapel to visit the crypts where 19 generations of the family entered. Wow. 19 generations. Sounds like a Wellington bomber up in the air right now. St. Mary the Virgin, great. Brington, Brington. God, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Ooh, Commonwealth War Grave. at the top there sticking out like a water spout maybe I'm, I'm digging the church though show me some of those tombstones some of those headstones those look old I want to know who, who's there yeah I'm guessing that's a water spout up there guessing oh, here we go cannot read them though Beautiful view, though. We're now going inside to explore the family crew and see the rumored location. So this is the rumored location. And from what I understood, where she had wished she was buried. I don't know. She's, if it's true, she's on that island. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Oh, cool windows. Yes. The church windows always, I don't want to say fascinate me, but they're fun to look at, I should say. Spencer Chapel. Oh, wow. Look at that. Some people suggest this is where Diana was actually buried. I... Look at that. Talk. Oh, it just kind of gives me. Weird feelings. It, w it would give me weird feelings being just standing there. Just kind of so unique <laughs> in my eyes, you know. I love how the, the windows and churches always tell a story. Lawrence Washington, the great, great, great grandfather of George Washington, the first president of the United States, is also buried there. Get out! <laughs> wow. Tombstone of Lawrence Washington. Look at old Larry. Great, 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 great father of George Washington, first president of the United States of America, who was buried there in 1616. Whew. 
Well, I wasn't expecting that connection. <laughs> Well, I mean, that pretty much debunked if there's any sort of rumor that she may have been buried there that says laid to rest at Althorpe State. Digging the church, though, there's something about it that has this... Who is this? this church just as fascinating as the estate itself. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate you and your channel for allowing us to come along and see this stuff. This is uh, remarkable. Again, um, oh yeah, more headstones. I could spend hours just out there trying to read all of them. The history that is laid into the earth here is just incredible. hard to read. That's a nice tribute um, to her, I think, being out on that. I'd like to believe she's out there. I'm not going to think she's at the, the church. Although, as he was pointing out, that the, the, her wish was to be in the church, in the crypt, in the vault, whatever we're calling it. Um, yeah, just uh, interesting stuff, for sure. I didn't even know this place existed, so I'm very happy uh, that uh, I got to see it. So thank you, Josh. I appreciate you. Um, everyone, get over to Strides and Rides. Please, links in the description. Get over there. Support him any way you can. Um, really cool. I, I love his videos. And it's just, yeah, it's just, that was an interesting. And I wasn't, you know, when you said, okay, I've got this walkthrough of Althorpe State something to do with Princess Diana. Okay. You know, I, I've never heard of it. I've, you know, can't say that going to estates is something that's high on my list of things to do when I come visit. Uh, but this was surprisingly interesting. Uh, and that sounds like a backhanded uh, compliment. But no, it's it's true. I wasn't expecting, I didn't, well, I guess I didn't really know what I was expecting, but um, I'm actually happy to have seen this and because I, I got a lot out of it. Um, 
one, the just blows me away how old it is. It's in the 15, early 1500s. Generation after generation, how it stayed in the family. That's that's pretty crazy. I mean, through all the tumultuous uh, <laughs> times that they were able to still uh, keep it in the family. And that's, I think, a feat in itself. Uh, and then, of course, with the Diana uh, angle, having I was surprised that she was uh, laid to rest on an island in the in the lake there. And I thought, uh, uh, I find that fascinating. Um, when my wife gets up, I'm going to tell her, um, hey, guess what? <laughs> you know, she may even want to go there now, but I'll have to let her know. It's pretty far. It's not close to London. It's, you know, maybe on a another visit. Maybe this will be the catalyst of getting us to get back out there after a London visit. Um, so it's kind of in the middle of the country, it seems like, right? It's in between what looked like to be Manchester and Cambridge. Or not Manchester, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Birmingham and Cambridge. And um, I'm sure you can get there by train. A couple hours probably or something if uh, we want to. But yeah, interesting. I uh, was not expecting a lot of that. Really wasn't. I couldn't imagine li living in a home that large. But... You know, different, different times for uh, different people. If you grow up that way, it becomes, you know, second nature to, that's what you always know. Um, I didn't grow up that way. <laughs> um, yeah, interesting. I'm glad I watched it. Thank you. Thank you, Josh, for sending this my way. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you enjoy this sort of thing, please get over to uh, strides and rides and, and, uh, help out by liking, subscribing, doing, watching. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff. We'll be doing more for sure. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. Thanks a lot for sticking around. Um, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Mark from the States, Mark from the States, it's Mark, and he's from